Maddie Bailey, thank you for joining me today. I appreciate it. Of course. Thank you for having me. Well, um, this was just actually a shoot full of people that really liked each other a lot, if, if, if I recall it correctly. Do you agree with that? <laughs> yeah, I agree. And you were one of the people that I liked the most. Always, sincerely, a really incredibly positive energy. Very fun, very funny, very kind. Thanks. Um, thank you for being kind and being here. Let me, there's a bunch of stuff that I don't know, because when you're acting together in something, there's work to be done, even if you're in the makeup chair or something. And we weren't in a ton of scenes together. Uh, certainly weren't as many no. as we should be. Um, uh, but Maybe season two. There you go. There you go. Um, <laughs> but uh, we did get to talk some, but now let me just ask you some questions, things that I don't even know. Um, uh, Maddie, where, yeah. did you, where did you grow up? So I'm from Kernersville, North Carolina. Oh, so how so far is that from, from uh, Outer Banks? Um, I have no idea. Just wait, Probably you're like inland, right? You're inland? Three, four hours. Yeah, I'm in between Winston-Salem and Greensboro. I'm more towards yeah. the mountains. Yeah, it's not that far at all, no, yeah. Oh, yeah. wow, so then here you are in, in kind of your own backyard where, of course, we shot it. In Charleston, how did you start right. acting and where did you start acting? In LA or in, in the, the South is a, a lot of it is possible now. So I actually started acting classes in Greensboro, North Carolina at a small studio called In Studio, where I had a little family there for a couple years and then moved to LA and ended right back up on the East Coast working. What, what year did you start and what year did you move? What year did you start with them? And then how long were you there before you moved to LA? So I started summer of 2014, and I moved to LA January of 2019. Oh my gosh, Maddie. That's unbelievable. You know, can I tell you, sometimes it takes longer than that to blow up like you have. Yeah, no, I definitely know this happened way earlier than I, even I anticipated. My family was like, well, I mean, I figured, like, I don't know. <laughs> no, it's, it's wonderful. Um, and it's, it's, it's because of how great you are instantly. I, I was so bad for so long, I would not have been ready for something <laughs> half as quick as this. <laughs> I, I still look back at some of my early auditions, and I was like, what was I doing? They're, they're, the, difference they is you're be the difference is, is you're talking 18 or 20 months ago, <laughs> like you, I mean, you mean, <laughs> you mean two or three years ago? Well, that's hardly anything. You only started in 14, my goodness. That's, that's so great. Um, what was the audition yeah. process for this? So it came in like an, a normal audition. I read for it, heard nothing back, and then saw that I got another audition for it. And I was like, oh, like a callback. And then it was not a callback. It was a re-release and they were like, do not submit anybody that's already auditioned. And I was like, I called my agent. I was like, I don't want to piss anybody off. Like, I feel like if they would have liked me, they would have said something. And he was like, just, just do it one more time. And I was like, okay. And I read for it. And Jonas is like, I honestly don't know how we didn't see it the first time. He's like, I don't know what happened. I got an immediate call back, flew to Charleston. And they told me I booked it that day. Wow. Are you kidding me? That is, by the way, that's very, yeah. that's very Kiara. If they didn't like me the first time, I'm not going back. It's such, I can see that scene. Um, <laughs> I was like, I'm going to go all out if that's yeah, the case. Yeah, exactly. Um, so, man, <laughs> so how long between that audition that you just talked about and the time you're on a plane to Charleston? So, less than a week. <laughs> um, but I, it was probably like three or four days uh -huh. and then got the call and then, they told me that I booked it that day. They let me come back to LA and pack. I've had like less than a week in LA before I came back and stayed in Charleston till October. And did you read with any of the cast or did you meet the cast when you met the cast in Charleston? I did. So, so Rudy, Maddie, and JD had already been cast. Mm -hmm. And that was the point where they didn't know if Rudy was going to play John B or JJ yet, but he, he knew that he had booked one of the two roles. Sure. And so, and so, yeah, I read with them that day when I came in for the callback and I was like, this is a chemistry read. I'm like, wait, I didn't expect anybody else to be here. Wow. Very nerve wracking. Did it feel pretty natural pretty quickly? Did you feel that 
that bond that uh, grew so quickly immediately or did it take a second? Definitely. Oh, you did? Definitely immediate. Wow. Cause I know on the same flight back that I was going to my callback, Rudy was coming to stay cause he had booked it. And I saw him on the plane and I like passed him because my seat was past him. I sat down and opened my phone and had a DM from him and was like, are you playing Kiara? Because I saw you and immediately knew like a year, year, clearly coming here to play Kiara. And I was like, what? Because we had a mutual friend. I was like, that's so crazy. So I immediately clicked with Rudy. It was very, very quick. <laughs> and then, and then how from, how long between that and the time we sat at that table read all together and I got, and I came and got to see you all. That had probably been less than a week, like three or four oh. days that I had been there. You saw that post I did with all of us. And I was like, to me, I felt like you guys had been together forever. It seemed like you were just right. a band instantly. Um, and I think more than yeah, anything, it was that's crazy. what makes the show. I think that's what makes the show is your, first of all, how charismatic and wonderful and real you are all, but also the, how you all come together so perfectly. To me, that's more of the treasure than the gold is that relationship. <laughs> For sure. I, I, it was shocking work, clicking with people because I, I hadn't really worked on a set with people my age, mm -hmm. really. This was kind of my first time being an, an only young cast where all my, the people that I'm in the majority of scenes with are my age. So that was, that was really exciting. And what about, what about the two Maddies? Being that you were meant to be enemies, I know you weren't, you, were, you, you seemed like very oh, already friends, but did she get even more in as the season goes or was she always, you guys always hung out, always? So when <laughs> I got here, so Maddie's from Charleston, so she was staying with her parents when I first got here. Yeah. And I moved into a two bedroom apartment. She was like, I really wanna look for an apartment. And I was like, well, I'm pretty much close to everywhere that we're going right now. And so in a week of knowing her, she moved into my apartment with me after meeting her. <laughs> and she lived with me for like a month until she found her like own apartment and stuff, yeah. so. Well, that's wild because you guys played the, you played the distance very well. I knew it would be easy for you to play the friendship, but you played the distance right. uh, so well. And before we get yeah. to the particular scenes I'm thinking of even, uh, I told you yesterday I was talking with you that what's so great about what you did with this role, and to me it's the mark of really great acting, is the many facets of Kiara. She's not one thing. If you ask somebody what Kiara is, well, they'll go, yeah, she's socially conscious. Um, but after that, you're a million things. You're everything. I would say that you are the conscience of the, of the group in a real <laughs> way. I think Pope is the brains, no offense. <laughs> but everybody, everybody agrees with that. But um, Kiara is right. the conscience. But you're so much more than that. You're hilarious sometimes, and you're brokenhearted sometimes. And of course, they all love <laughs> you, and you're trying to negotiate that. Um, Thank you. How much character, thought, and work did you do? And how much did you just show up and interact with these new friends? So I think, I think so much of it came so natural. I, I've said this before that I think one of the biggest struggles with Kiara was the physicality. She's much more, much more active than I am. But oh. like internally, it was, it was pretty easy because the boys make it so easy they really do. They, the banter is so natural and we spent so much time offset that we, we did experience more than what was just on the page together. And that definitely helped our performances come across and be authentic. And so I think it was really just the chemistry of everybody versus like personal work into the character, you know. Were you struck by it when you watched it about how much they say uh, great acting is reacting um, meaning you don't, yeah. some, people, some people plan scenes and they know exactly how they're going to say every line. And no matter how you For say sure. yours to them, they're locked into their way of doing it. I didn't see any right. of that. Were you struck by how much of the real banter was captured on the, on the screen? <laughs> yes, I remember, like, I watched it and I was like, I can't believe they kept so much of our improv <laughs> of us just talking or like there were times where 
they used b-roll when we didn't even know they were rolling and we're just like <gasps> looking at each other or making so many faces like when they introduce our characters in the beginning and they're like this is kiara and then there's like that whole like montage of stuff and i was like when were they filming this it's just like me putting like sunglasses on rudy and i was like where were they <laughs> <And> <laughs> so they it's like you're on a reality it. show yeah yeah they captured a lot of real moments oh like, <laughs> that that is actually um that's i think what comes across i was talking to jonas of course you know our showrunner creator producer directed sure. a bunch and he was saying they just had so many things and so they would steal from other takes and they would put it in there and <laughs> the, i was saying that the closed captioning when you I, I, i'm an older guy so i put the closed captioning up there so <laughs> everything man they wrote every little line and man you, but you're saying you're less physical and like you have not slapped you you're not the type to slap the guy across the face like uh like you did with that who did you slap? Anything's possible. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> well, you gotta watch it. Believe me, everybody. But when you got <laughs> you got chased pretty good, got uh, John B right across the face. He got me back pretty good. That's true. That turned into like, where's this gonna go? Um, I want to talk real quickly about the scene with Maddie where they they put the two of you together because in a serious in a real way, I thought the, I thought the writers really captioned captioned something. I'm a father of daughters, and there's yeah. a thing. It's a thing where two, it can be anybody, but I'm going to say for now, two females that are friends when they're young, they grow up together, they come up together, and they're besties. And then it, yeah. gets, it gets trickier. You get in different groups, and, and there's misunderstandings yeah. and bad communication, and it can get really bad. And that's what happened to these two characters. Um, did, did that resonate? Did you, did you know what that was about? You understood that? I've definitely experienced that in my life. I mean, I've had a best friend who was my best friend forever and then you get to high school and you have different classes and you make new friends and you're in a weird world but the same thing that i experienced in the show like i could call that friend any given point right now and she'd be like look we, we went through so much at very like important times in our lives yeah to where we will always have that bond even though we have changed so much yeah, my, my, one of my, perhaps my favorite part of that whole thing, and I thought you guys did that so well. And you came to understand why, um, we got you, you're oh, back. sorry. You came to understand. Sorry, I had a You with me still? There you go. Well, you come to understand why you were so angry with her before, and it wasn't that you didn't care about her, it was that you did care about her. So you guys got that friendship yeah. back, but you both acted cool. And I think my favorite part of all of that is in the end where you admitted that you did call the cops. And you said, of course, I don't call the cops. <laughs> that was, that seemed very really real to me. Um, well, let me just. I love that scene. Oh, it's such, there's so many, and there's so many great ones. And that's, and that's Kiara. And I can't wait to see, I, man, I, I hope we get the second season. I don't know why we wouldn't. You guys killed it and the world is loving you. Let's talk about that. The blow up. Let's talk about the blow up. Um, What's it like, Crazy. especially in this strange quarantine situation where you're inside, but you go out a little bit. Um, are you noticing yeah. it? Really? I think, well, I, am not a, I can't go anywhere without getting noticed at least once, uh -huh. which I kind of love. But, <laughs> in, in <the> weird, <laughs> but in this weird quarantine world, it's as real as anything is on your phone, you know? Mm -hmm. it's like it is real and it's happening but it's it's on my phone and once I close my phone it like doesn't exist you know yeah. and so yeah. I think definitely the more I leave my house the more I'm realizing what's going on because I think for the first week and a half two weeks ish it was just like look at my followers are going up but it's like that's just a number i don't know what that amount of people looks like standing well, by the way room. Tell, uh, tell us with instagram what is that new number uh maddie bailey what is that new <laughs> oh you know it's like it's like pretty close to a million we're like fifty thousand away you know <laughs> 50, 000, well i think after this interview clearly you're gonna fifty thousand we'll, we'll, we'll click on it that's on people you're right you can't imagine what a million people is um, I don't know what that looks like at all. 
Yeah. And I think about all of the people whose shows that I love that I just, I don't follow them on Instagram, but I'm like, this is my favorite show. And yeah, I'm like, think, I can't think too, of yeah. all the people who have watched the show and don't follow my Instagram, you know? Yeah. Well, let me say again, I could talk forever with you and hopefully we'll get to, and maybe we'll even get some scenes together if we get another <laughs> season. But I, yes. I was a big fan of yours from the word go. You were so kind, came right up to me and say hi. And we, and we click, and um, even though we weren't seeing every time I see you, a big old hello. And I am, yeah. one of the coolest things about this is that the people that have blown up because of this, just to everybody at home, they are such good people. And they're nice, and they're good hearted. And you're, seeing that, you're seeing that through their social media. There's, 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 there's a group of actors For that, sure. you take that, that it would start to leak out that, oh, maybe they're not as nice as I thought this group is. If you were in... <laughs> The Twinkie, you would know what it's like to be with these actors, um, and and I, and right. I love you, Matt, and I thank you so much for spending some time with us. Of course, of course. All right, well, um, we'll keep our fingers crossed. Everybody, keep binging it, and um, yes, go follow Maddie Please. if you haven't followed her on Instagram. Go follow her. Let's get her <laughs> over that over that million mark. Um, Take care of yourself, be safe, and slowly as you come out from this hiding, um, enjoy everything this brings you, my dear, and we'll see you soon, okay? Thank you so much. Much love. All right. Bye-bye.